we're lining them up now and uh, giving them the order on how they're going to sit down. Um, <clears throat> if you have a graduate that is coming in late, please come to me and speak to me to give me their name, okay? So when I, have, uh, I want to make sure that everyone has their names. And even if they get here a little bit late, they can take a seat. We'll guide them. But I just want to make sure I'm, uh, we're made aware of who's coming and who's not. And that way we can uh, take account, okay? Thank you, guys. All right, we're going to give uh, two more minutes here, and then we'll go ahead and get started with the ceremony. Thank you guys for waiting, for your patience. 
We'll get started shortly. Check one, two. Welcome, family and friends. Bienvenidos, amigos y amigos. Amigos y amigas. Welcome to this beautiful day that we get to celebrate with our graduates. Even though it's been a whole different way of, of, of our graduates being able to graduate this year, but we want to welcome them. And we want to feel, make them feel that this is for them. Amen. Les queremos dar las gracias de ustedes de estar acá y queremos darle la bienvenida a nuestros graduantes de esta mañana. Y así, tal vez con un fuerte aplauso, maybe with a great applause or, or maybe your honks, what do we say? We welcome them as they walk. Come on, let, let's, let's see our honks, let's applaud. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our graduates of 2020. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are our graduates of 2020.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you in this moment, we're going to, uh, they're going to be singing the national anthem. So if you're standing or if you're in your cars, uh, what do we pay, res pay respect in this morning? Amen. And with that, we'll leave it Eddie and Michaela. Two thousand twenty graduates, you may have a seat. Why don't we give a great hand again to the graduating class of two thousand and twenty? Un applauso. I have a speech for you guys uh, this morning. Uh, you know, we gather here to celebrate you, to congratulate you, to honor you on your achievements, and uh, you know. I don't think any one of us could have imagined what 2020 would have been like, right? I mean, you never imagine, you know, uh, that this is the place where we would have your graduation. It has been a year that will stand out in the pages of history, that will stand out different than any other graduating class that it's ever been. Even though we are not even halfway through the year, we have experienced so much. COVID-19 has created a chasm between all of us. The social distancing that we've experienced in our schools and our jobs, you know, and not to be forgotten, it also has been created in our church. But I love the fact that even though we have been physically separated, we've still shown unity in different ways, continuing to strive to be close to each other and God, no matter what may come. I hope this situation teaches you no matter how far we might seem from God, he is always yearning to be near you. How many say amen to that? He is always there and he will always be there for you. More recently, our country has been hurting because of another tragedy. I can tell you that personally, I am both angered and saddened by the unjust death of George Floyd. As a church, we value life and believe all life is made in the image of God and should be treasured and valued as such, no matter the color of our skin. The Bible calls us to love one another just as we love ourselves. Our Declaration of Independence tells us we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain undeniable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Dr. Martin Luther King famous speech spoke of a dream that we may have a nation where children would not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. 
in the midst of all this tragedy, I hope that you would not succumb to violence, but to faith, to hope, and to love. You will encounter people in your life, especially those who are coming out in, out of high school and coming out of college, out of the four walls of your classroom, you will encounter people full of sin. But don't you ever let that change your character. Do not let them steal the things that you have learned from this church, from scriptures, from God. Don't let them steal from you your joy. Don't let that ever steal your identity as a child of God. No matter how much color got put on your beautiful skin, do not let the turmoil of today change the way God called you to live. As you guys stand here today, maybe you didn't get the graduation you wanted. Maybe it's not how you envisioned it. But always remember, it's never about the ceremony. And it's not about the ceremony that makes you graduate. The years in school, the homeworks, the assignments, the tests, the person that you are, that is what makes you a graduate. It is the same thing with life, you know. Many times, it's not the celebrations that make you who you are, but it is the hard tasks, the trials, the tests that make you a champion, that make you an overcomer. I believe that the silver lining to all of this is a life lesson that might be most useful in your life ahead. To continue to be hopeful, to make the best out of every situation, to continue to love, to continue to thrive, no matter what you are going through. Always know that God has a plan for you. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know I have the plans for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future, that you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. No matter how crazy life gets, God has a plan for you. No matter how crazy your plans may change, God has a plan for you. No matter what you may go through, come to God. Pray to him, and he will listen. Graduating class of 2020, you have gone through this, and you will continue on. Always remember, God has a plan for you. Why don't we go ahead and give a shout? Porque no damos un gran aplauso a la clase del 2020. We're going to go ahead and start calling your names, and as you hear your name, you can go ahead and go forward with Pastor Daniel, and he will give you a gift for your achievement this morning. Jaciel Juan Lopez, the right chose pre-K. He's graduating pre-K. Come on, give a great hand. Mia Germán, Dunn Elementary. Come on, she's going from pre-K to kinder. Let's give a great hand. Come on, come on, let's celebrate. Caleb Dena, Warner Elementary, graduating from kinder. Crystal Servine, Date Elementary, going into middle school. Abigail Gonzalez, Toke Elementary School, graduating fifth grade. Jeremy Gabriel Tejada Tejada, Wayne Rubel Middle School. Come on. Anaisa Solis, Southridge Middle School. Give it up for Angel Garcia, Eisenhower High School. Rosendo Chavez, coming from Cajon High School. Karen Aguilar, Jurupa Hills High School. Come on, let's give it up. Michaela Amaiz Griego, Carter High School. Kelsey Bricky, Cobalt Institute of Math and Science Middle School.
Summit College Medical Assistant, Juan Lopez Ruiz. Come on, let's give it up. Brianna Hernandez, Cal State University, San Bernardino, graduating with a bachelor's degree in liberal arts. Angie Barrow, graduating from Cal State University, San Bernardino, a major in sociology. All right, so as an educator, I stand here proud. As a minister, I stand here blessed to see you guys move on and conquer the next task of your life. As we take this special moment, I would like for you to move your tassel from the left to the right, signaling that you have graduated and achieved this great achievement. Come on, let's give it up for the graduating class of 2020. Hallelujah. This is not the end. Tell your, your sons, your daughter, this is not the end. This is the beginning of a great race. And we're going to pray for them. So let's stand. If you can uh, send your hands over them, just I will ask you to stand. And we're going to pray for them, that the Lord will bless them, that the Lord will guide them, that the Holy Spirit will do amazing things all over their lives. They achieve uh, a task, but it's going to continue. 2020 is going to be just the starting point for many things. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless the little, the larger, Lord, the majors, the BAs. Lord, I, I bless everyone who already making a step forward. Father, give them grace, give them wisdom. In the precious name of Jesus, I ask, Lord, that they, that they be covered by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ so they will overcome the evil one. Father, in the name of Jesus, that be, they, may, they may be, Lord, men and women of, of uh, good, of rights. Uh, Father, I bless them, bless their families, Lord. I bless their finances so they can continue uh, achieving more things and be more educated, Lord, and, and Lord, conquer what you already have for them. Father, we bless them on the precious name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Congratulations once again, guys. You guys did it. Come on. Why don't you go ahead and you can toss your cap in the air and say, I did it. I done it. You can give high fives to each other. <laughs> God bless you guys. And uh, family has continued. Come and you can take pictures with your graduates. Just make sure you're keeping a safe distance with everybody and your family. God bless you guys.